Well guys, after this episode, it finally answers the question, can you take a 3 minute YouTube personnel and turn it into a 30 minute TV series? Hey guys, I remember the series premiere of the new, highly anticipated Netflix show, Haters Back Off. This is Season 1, Episode 1, uploading my first video, and I was actually really looking forward to the show, to be honest with you guys. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to say, highly anticipate, what the hell are you talking about? Well, honestly, this is a show that YouTubers, I think, are kind of required to review. I mean, it's a show about a character from YouTube, and... Let's talk about this overall, because I was really looking forward to this show, mainly because I was very happy for Colleen Ballinger. I think she's very talented overall. I'll get into this when we get into the acting and things like that, but I was overall very happy for her that she got her own show, seeing how popular the character is and everything. I think it was only a matter of time, but I was very worried, and that is because... Recently, the YouTube to TV, you know, uh, track the, has a really bad track record, really. They have a very bad track record. It's not very high. We know how Fred turned out. We know how other things YouTubers turned out. We know how Shane Dawson's movies turned out. They really just haven't been that great. And I was worried about this show for that reason. But I was trying to, t trying to stay positive. This show really hasn't been getting really that great reviews. And honestly... But after this first episode, I understand it. I will say that right off the bat. The show is definitely not for everyone, but what I saw actually really impressed me. I really enjoyed this first episode. There was a lot of things that I really wasn't expecting from the show. There was actually a really deep subtext that I wasn't expecting at all, but it's definitely something that I will continue to watch, and I'll say it straight off the bat. If you guys like Miranda Singh's videos, you'll definitely like the show. However, there's a lot more to it than that, which let's just jump right into the show talking about the cast. Now, obviously, the thing that's promoting the show and the thing that's making everyone excited is Colleen Ballinger, as Miranda sings. I'll admit, the first time I ever found her Miranda sings, I found her extremely fucking annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I found her so annoying. I found her to be the most arrogant thing ever. You guys can see, uh, there was a show called My Music that the Fine Brothers did. They did My Music News. They had Miranda sings on there. I completely just roasted her. I really, I went all out. I roasted her. I said, you're terrible. You're arrogant. What the hell is wrong with you? But the thing is, for some reason, I didn't realize that it was a character, so I was stupid for that reason. I didn't realize it was a character. And once I realized that and realized how talented Colleen Ballinger actually was, I thought I was I thought it really was impressive. I thought it was genius, and I've really liked the character since then. And like I said, the big question is, does she really translate into a TV series? For the most part, yes. I've always found the character of Miranda Sings actually very fascinating. You have this girl who is completely tone deaf and has no talent whatsoever, but for some reason she feels she is a star, and I like seeing the origin of her kind of her rise to fame in this episode. Colleen Ballinger did a really great job. It really takes someone for to be that good to play someone that bad, and she really does a very good job with that. And I think they did a good job with getting you to not completely hate Miranda. You understand why she feels this way. She feels she's genuinely great. You know, she's not just going on and on about herself like she, you know, doesn't know she's great. She genuinely thinks that she's amazing. She doesn't think that there can be anyone that likes her because everyone has praised her all her life and she can't believe that someone would actually do this to her and really she wants you know she's kind of an attention whore you definitely do see that and I definitely kind of did feel bad for her, though I honestly did because she doesn't really realize you know how bad she really is but I really like what she did here she of course was funny but they did a good job of really getting us into Miranda's psyche seeing the way she feels I mean just the way she reacted over a bad comment thing that someone's gonna kill her of all things was ridiculous but Colleen Ballinger did a really good job in not making the character annoying and I'll say this if you guys have never seen the character Miranda sings I honestly feel this is a good way to get you into the character because it tells you everything you need to know it shows you who she is and I think they did a really good job of that there's definitely some things they're going to cover in the show that they obviously haven't covered on YouTube because all we've really gone to her on YouTube is her talk bragging about herself and things like that and I definitely like seeing the process what's going on the way she is and I definitely really did like the overall I'm very interested in getting into this character and Colleen Ballinger in general I really did love seeing she definitely was fantastic and like I said she really is a genius I mean she really is a great actress and I can't wait to see what she does with this character in the show and honestly I do think it was a really good idea to give her her own show. 
So, of course, that's the main thing that everyone's looking forward to is Miranda Sings. But the question is, how is the rest of the ensemble? Surprisingly, they're pretty good. I thought overall they were really good. A little bit mixed with some of them, but I like them for the most part. Angela Kinsey as Miranda's mother, Bethany, I found her to be a very compelling character. We know that there's something about her where she wants to get involved, but she doesn't want to. And she doesn't have the heart to tell Miranda that she's terrible. She can't straight out tell her daughter, I don't want you to make videos. And we don't really know what that reasoning is. She also has has some sort of syndrome. I don't know uh, what this syndrome is called, but uh, definitely we're going to find out what's going on there. I think that's going to be very interesting. But I definitely did like getting into her character in this episode. I thought overall she was very interesting. I don't exactly know uh, where she's going, but I do like where she's head overall. I think she overall was a good character. The one character who I'm very in between with is Steve Little as Jim. I want to like this character. I really do. This is Miranda's uncle, who basically is the main reason that she is encouraged to put videos on YouTube. I mean, he thinks she's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and he doesn't think anyone could possibly like her. And he takes death threats as literal death threats. I mean, he really is this outrageous character. And you think Miranda sings as crazy, that's nothing compared to Jim. And... They did a good job with showing that. At first, I thought that he was trying to hide it from Miranda. That's what I thought. I thought that he was buttering her up. He was trying to make her seem like she was this great thing because he didn't have the heart to tell his niece that she wasn't great. But we definitely get the tone at the end of this episode that he is genuinely crazy. And I do think that he got a bit too cartoony at points. I think they definitely could have toned it down a little bit. I get it that it's supposed to be outrageous that, you know, again, he takes everything like it's this huge deal. Like, he takes a bad comment like it's a fire hazard. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous the way it was done. But you can tell he's having so much fun with this role. That is something I will give Steve Little. His acting definitely does make up for it. You can tell he's doing a really good job. And there are some scenes where he really did sell me. I'm like, this guy is actually really good. And they definitely did a really good job casting this character. Because there definitely are some deeper layers to his character that we're going to touch upon. We just haven't yet. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with him. Because he definitely was really great here. And then Eric Stockland as Patrick Mooney. We don't know much about him, but this is Miranda's best friend. Possibly love interest. He clearly does really care about her. He wants her to do well. I think he knows deep down she can't really sing, but he genuinely does care, and I think he's definitely going to be one of the hearts of the show. However, my favorite character introduced in this first episode, without a doubt, was Francesca Real as Emily. This is the character that I really love because she's the thing that keeps the show grounded. The show, like I said, is completely outrageous. It's ridiculous. But Emily is the thing that really keeps her grounded. She's what we feel about Miranda. She isn't afraid to tell Miranda that she sucks. You know, she will tell her to her face. You have no talent. You're terrible. Stop making videos. But she isn't doing this to put her down. What she's doing this is to tell her, you know, you're not good at this. Find something else. And she's trying to do it to protect her, basically. And I really did love her character overall. She's very much the voice of reason. She's really the only one that's not crazy. And she generally does want to help Miranda. And one of the best scenes in this episode is between these two sisters. And their scenes really do shine because Miranda, you know, feels very different about her sister. Sister, but Miranda in general is very damaged. I mean, Emily goes to school. Miranda doesn't. Miranda's talented, and we don't really know how Emily is. We don't know if Emily's really talented. We don't really know much more about Emily, except that, like I said, she will stray out to Miranda that you're not that great. And I overall thought the relation was very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. And I thought overall she did a really great job in this first episode, and by far was my favorite part of this, especially the twist with her character. We'll get into that in the writing. Really well done overall. But that's really how I feel about the cast. And I have to say, especially for a show about YouTubers, unlike Fred the Show, which was trash, honestly. If you guys have ever seen Fred the Show, that show is terrible. I, I'm not going to lie. I used to love that show back in the day. That show is absolute garbage. I don't know what they were thinking with that show. Fred is just not something that works on TV. But looking at this cast, is a very promising cast, and I really could see this concept going far. They definitely seem like they tried to make the story as compelling as possible, and the characters definitely do reflect upon that. So while the cast is really good, I really want to talk about the directing and the writing because those two things that really do stick out in this first episode. First of all, the tone. Like I said, the tone is outrageous. This is a show that is completely ridiculous and absurd, but also was grounded, and they did a good job with that, honestly. I didn't think there was going to be a lot of heart and substance to the show, but there actually really is, and they did a really good job with balancing those two things. I will admit there were a couple times I didn't know whether I should laugh or not, especially the ending. 
I didn't know if that was supposed to be funny or if we actually were supposed to care what was going on. I don't know, it's kind of like a mixed bag with that, but a lot of the laughs definitely did work. Nothing absolutely hilarious, but I thought definitely, well, Miranda Sing Defying Gravity was pretty funny, I will say that. It was so bad. It's every bad uh, singer that tr thinks they're the greatest thing on YouTube. That is a great parody of that. And that's something I've always liked about the character Miranda Sings, is the way that she, what she really stands for with the public. You know, she's all those Musical.ly girls that are going on Musical.ly and lip sinking and thinking they're the greatest thing ever and nothing against that if you do that I mean I understand why you do that but this show really has a lot to say about attention and wanting to be in the face of the public and carry and you know wanting to be popular that's what Miranda really wants to be she wants to be wanted she wants to feel like she is a star and she won't settle for anything less and yes that's a great thing to do the problem is Miranda simply just isn't good and that's really the problem with her and that's something I do like about this character you have a character who is totally own death and she has no future whatsoever. When Emily's telling her straight out, you have no talent and I'm humiliated by you, the reason she's saying is because she is humiliated that her sister feels that she should settle for this, that she should settle for mediocrity, she should settle for doing something that she's not good at, because she's generally not good at it, and you really do care for Miranda in that sense. You get the fact of why she wants to do it. I think they did a good job actually showing us why Miranda is so passionate about this. Basically, we find out that she has been singing for her mother for a very long time in the living room. Again, her mother has some sort of disease. It's called Munkazin. I don't really know what it is exactly or what it does, but it's something with your brain. I don't really know what it does yet. I'm sure we're going to dive deeper into that. But ever since then, she's always wanted to, you know, put herself out for the public. And this is the first time she ever got to be in the public. And seeing what they think of her obviously was a shock to her. And that does happen to a lot of people. And these there are a lot of people who think there are something great. And then, you know, they always say the worst thing you can hear is no. And that definitely is true with this show. Miranda's never really heard the word no. She's never heard anyone say not anything negative about her. And that's because she basically has sheltered her from the public. You know, she's homeschooled. She doesn't really have any friends outside of Patrick, and other than that, she really doesn't have much of a life outside of this. YouTube is her life, and you definitely do see that with her character, and they showed that very well in this episode. And again, YouTube is something where you literally can put anything on YouTube, and this very well did show that in this episode, and how people will have different responses to what you do. I like that not all the comments were negative. There was a comment that said, keep trying. I mean, we don't know if they were, if she was good or not, but they definitely were looking into that, and I really did like that. And like I said, what the show has to say about, you know, wanting attention, because Miranda clearly does want that, is something that I was very impressed by. I thought it was going to be really cartoony, and some of the stuff was cartoony, like the whole bit with the fish I thought was kind of ridiculous, uh, but I did like, again, that they were trying to show that the, the whole time Miranda just wanted to film the commercial because she felt that she's a star, and she felt that she'll settle for nothing less. I didn't find Miranda annoying because I feel that she's naive. You know, she's someone that has been living in a bubble, and... She really, again, she's never heard the word no. Her parents, you know, her mother and her uncle have encouraged it all her life, and they've never really told her no, and we don't really know why. I don't know if it's because they don't have the heart. I think her uncle genuinely thinks she's good, which I don't really know what's going on with this character, but I really did love what they did with the writing, especially with Emily's aspect, with us finding out that Emily was actually the one that wrote the hate comment to Miranda, and I thought that was interesting to see, actually, the fact that we found this out, the fact that she was the one that wrote the hate comment to her, uh, that she did, I, I thought it was actually a very well done twist, because I didn't think we were going to find out till the end of the, the season, but we did in fact find out who it was, it was Emily, and again, it was her telling her straight out that I don't want you to, you know, I, I just don't want you to know, I, I want you to know you're not good for this, this isn't what you should be doing, and I like that Miranda said she's going to leave Emily out of it, you can see that em Miranda does generally care about her sister, that for me was one of the highlights of the episode, was that scene I really did like, and then the ending where we see that someone straight up told Miranda, I hate you, seeing what this is going to do to her, who knows where she's going to go from here, I mean, she already is going way too deep into this, and I don't really know where that's going to go, we'll have to see, um, but definitely, I think this was very promising. Also, the cinematography I really do like in this show. The intro is so outrageous in general with all those pictures of her and things. I mean, it's so weird the way that's done. But they did a really good job, again, with getting us into her world, showing us how outrageous things are, and really just building up all the potential the show has. Because in my opinion, the show has enormous potential, and hopefully in the end it does deliver on said potential. 
But overall, guys, I was very impressed with this first episode. I know that a lot of people didn't love this premiere. I really did like it overall. I really was expecting not much from this. I was expecting this to be very much one of those, oh, she should just stay on YouTube. She doesn't belong here. I honestly think this is going to work. And maybe it deteriorates as it goes on. Right now, though, it's working really well. And I think they definitely are going to do a really good job. If they stick to episodes like this first episode, this could be a really great first season. Especially with them doing eight episodes, I think this is going to go by really fast. I could honestly see myself finishing this by this weekend. But let me know what you guys thought of this first episode. Love to your thoughts. And are you happy to see Miranda Sings on TV? Do you think that this is working? Or do you think it's absolutely ridiculous? Did, was it funny to you? Do you like the character Miranda Sings? Or do you just find her plain annoying? Uh, if you guys find her annoying, you're not going to like her in this. I'll say that right off the bat. This is not going to make you like her more. If you find her annoying now, you're not going to like her more, honestly. I, it's, it's not for everyone. I'll say that right off that. This is not a show for everyone. I think a lot of you are going to get very easily irritated. But if you are interested, I'd say check it out, or if you're a Miranda Sings fan, definitely check this out, because like you like the character even more, and maybe might even get you to sympathize, which is something I didn't think the show would really do, but it actually did do towards the end. But that's my review, hope you are enjoying the much guys saw this first episode overall, love to your thoughts on it, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be for Quarry, yes, I am still reviewing Quarry, I have three episodes to review, and then I will review the one from tonight, and The Exorcist as well, I have to review that, and Girl Me Twirl, that's all coming tomorrow, very busy weekend, I don't know how many videos I'm going to put out, but I have a very busy weekend ahead of me, so I don't really know if I'm going to be able to put out a ton, but we'll have to see, and I will see you guys for that, okay, bye.